In today's episode, you will learn how to use a Ublox Neo 6M GPS module to find the location along with the speed and daytime information. In this tutorial, we will cover number one pinouts, number two soldering, number three features, number four interfacing, number five programming, and finally number six testing. Let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Arduino, Raspberry Pi, PLC, robotics, desktop application designing, image processing and much more, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. This is the Neo 6M GPS module that we're gonna be using today in this episode. This GPS module can be interfaced with the Arduino using VCC, RX, TX and ground. In order to interface this module with Arduino, we will need to solder 4 wires. Apply some solder to the red wire and then solder this wire with VCC of the GPS module. Then take another wire, apply some solder and then solder it with RX of the GPS module. Similarly, take a third wire, apply some solder and then solder it with RX of the GPS module. And then finally take a fourth wire, apply some solder and then solder it with ground of the GPS module. After the soldering is completed, before powering up the GPS module, first check the short circuit. For this, use a digital multimeter, set it on continuity and check all the four wires soldered. As you can hear the beep sound, it means that these two wires are short. Use soldering iron to remove the solder bridge and check again with multimeter. No beep means no short circuit and we are good to go. Now we can interface this GPS module with Arduino. This GPS module can be powered up using 3 to 5 volt. I will be using 5 volt and its default baud rate is 9600 which we will be using in the programming. Dimensions helps in calculating the size of the final product. We can use this information to make a plastic enclosure in SolarWorks or any other software. The new 6M GPS module interfacing with Arduino is very simple. The VCC of the GPS module is connected with 5V, RX will be connected with pin 3 of the Arduino, TX will be connected with pin 2 of the Arduino and ground will be connected with the Arduino ground. So my friends, as you can see, the GPS module is connected with the Arduino Uno. Its VCC is connected with 5 volt of the Arduino and its ground is connected with the ground of the Arduino. Its RX pin is connected with pin 3 and its TX pin is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino. I've already explained the connections. And now let's start the programming. So my friends, this is a very basic program written for the Neo 6M GPS module. So before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download the Teeny GPS Plus. This is very easy. You can easily download this from the GitHub. After downloading this, just simply copy and paste this into the Arduino's library folder. I've already downloaded this and over here you can see this, the Teeny GPS Plus. So and then after that uh, we start with the Haitian fruit software serial dot h uh, the software serial dot h library is used for creating multiple serial ports and as you know my friends that the gps uh, module will be doing serial communication with the Arduino you know so for that we'll need need to make another serial port as uh, i'm planning to use the Arduino default serial port for debugging purposes for sending the information to the serial monitor so for this I will need another serial port. So these are the uh, uh, the information about the uh, connections which I have already explained in the connection diagram. And over here you can see the RX pin equal to 2 and the TX pin equal to 3 which I already explained that the GPS module will be connected with pin 2 and 3 of the Arduino. Static constant and then over here you can see this is the baud rate uh, for the GPS module and the software serial SS. Over here you can see the parentheses which is a function and it's taking two arguments as the input and these two arguments are the pin numbers with which the GPS module will be connected which are pin number 2 and pin number 3. 
Then we start with the white setup. When we turn on the Arduino, you know the white setup runs only one time and over here we, you can see is we will be sending the latitude and longitude values to the serial monitor so for this we will have to activate the serial communication and for this we have function which is serial dot begin and then the baud rate ss dot begin and the gps baud which is 9600 and then we are sending these uh, 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 messages to the serial monitor and then white loop so the, the, the white loop then executes uh, infinite times so over here we are reading uh, the ss dot available greater than zero so check if uh, there is some data available then read that and uh, display the info so and uh, these instructions are used uh, if we connect the wires in a wrong way then this uh, message will be sent to the serial monitor then we can simply change the wires and the white display info over here you can see we can use these functions like the uh, gps dot location dot let you which is a function and uh, this is the, for the precision uh, so we can use uh, five seven four three so uh, this shows the position of a decimal point and uh, uh, if you want to access the longitude value then you can use this function and if you want to access the speed in kilometers then you can use this function and uh, these are functions for accessing the date and the date, so the month, day, and year. And if you want to access the time, like the hours, the minutes, and uh, the seconds, then you can use these functions. I would provide a link in the description from where you can download this code. And uh, later we will uh, uh, modify this code, and we will be making some very cool projects. Like we will be using uh, this GPS module with a GCM module, and we will be making. Uh, a navigation system and anti theft system, uh, a navigation system for blind person, and we were also making some other cool projects. So, do subscribe to my channel so that you never miss anything. Now, so that's it the programming, and uh, now we will upload the program into the Arduino, and then we will watch this uh, project in action.